Hi guys, so today this little 8x16 was all golden fluids. Again, I used Courtney Holscher's recipe. Thank you so much for her pouring uh, inspiration for this one. And her recipe 321 can be found on her website, which there'll be a link in my description box. Thank you so much to my supporters, you guys. I notice people are giving small donations and that helps so much. Even small donations make it possible to, for me to bring more art videos just for you. So I appreciate you guys following the link in my PayPal description box and giving even small amounts. That's such a joy and I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Um, this painting First of all, before we go on, do you remember this painting called, I changed the name to Mardi Gras. It's really hard to show in person and I think that's one of the reasons this one has not sold yet, but so try to take a little video. The problem is the varnish on it is a little bit glossy and it's hard to see, but this painting is rich and lively and very elegant and uh, the flowers on it are beautiful. That's all high flow gold right there. Look at those balloon rolls. I mean, they're stunning really. And then the gold cells, it's just a, just a really special and really pretty painting. And this one is still for sale guys. So I'm letting you know if you want to go to my shop at heathermaderart.com. You can visit my shop and make a painting like that yours. So. so if you saw my last video and with Courtney's um, influence and her pouring recipe, Courtney Holscher, I, this is the one that um, came afterwards. So these are the leftover paints that I had from that one. And I think originally my mind, I was thinking, well, this is just a little eight by 16. I should be able to cover the whole canvas with the rest of the black that I have. Now, that did not happen. <laughs> so what you see is me trying to coax the black gently to the edge and hopefully you make enough that I have a black base. So you can see that that's not happening, but I do have quite a bit of silver left, and so I put that one down, and then that is the burnt sienna. That's the second one that I put down. And then the gold. You guys, if you have to just buy one golden paint, you should try the gold or the copper. That's my professional advice. Um, and then I put down the turquoise and then the pearl over the top. Now you can see there's just a ton of paint on there. Um, and then with the tiniest little bit of black I had left, I dumped the rest of that down the center. So that's what I have going on right there. <laughs> I hope you guys know that I really have no idea a lot of times what's going to happen with my paintings. And the comments, a lot of times people say, you always start one way and end another. And I think that is true. Um, and that's why I always call my paintings a journey because it seems like I never have a foolproof plan ahead of time. And I kind of let the paints tell me how and what to do next. So I just follow their lead. Now, this was hard for me because those are all golden fluids mixed with GAC and it's ex expensive, but I did have to dump quite a bit off of the canvas in order to um, maintain the integrity. <sighs> Isn't that pretty though? <laughs> Man, I love that color combination. But something about this 
particular recipe for me, I did not get cells. It was very strange. I just didn't get any. I, I My paint was very thin, and I'm not sure why. Um, never tried that recipe before, so... I just started swiping, thinking I was going to get cells. And I just never got any cells. I was using a little bit more of the burnt sienna. Now, actually, at this point, I'm pretty much thinking I'm going to scrape this painting off and I'm not sure how I'm going to save it because I'm not having any brilliant ideas. But for whatever reason, suddenly, you know, sometimes it's just one swipe. I started doing the opposite. Um, swipes going in the opposite direction from each other and before I knew it there was just all of this beautiful um, interwoven patterns. I accidentally dropped one drop of paint on there and then I thought well I better try to make it look like it was purposeful. So I scooped some paint up from the board from my table and started placing it down on there. <laughs> And then I thought, I'm going to add, just like the last one, I'm going to add some shimmer to this. So I used high flow copper on my balloon. And I added some little high copper balloon rolls to this. You can see how the copper kind of um, blooms out. I really love that with the high flow because the high flow is very, very thin. It's almost like water. Sorry for that little bit of camera shake there, you guys. But look how interesting the little drops are on there. There, it just blossoms right before your eyes. I love that high flow. It's not the easiest thing to work with, but it is really special when you do get it to work. Look at that. Now a lot of metallics will blossom like this too. Not just the goldens. Um, clearly deco art, 24 karat and the extreme sheen line, they all blossom and produce cells like this too. But there's something special about the high flow metallics and the pearl. And like I said, if you're going to invest just in one golden paint to try, I would suggest the, t the gold or the copper. Look how pretty though. I know I'm stuck on balloon rolls, you guys. I've been doing them for a long time. But there's just something so special about the way they turn out and they transform a painting. It's like you can take a very mundane sort of painting and turn it into something special right before your eyes. And it also allows me to really, um, I guess, hone in on the composition and have more control over the end result. So that's another reason why. I do that. I'm going to show you, um, look at the whole piece. <laughs> I did go back in with some of the burnt sienna and there was a few places that the canvas was just showing through. So I covered that up and then I added the burnt sienna as a nice contrast and interplay of warmth to all the cool tones in this painting. And I just added a few little swoops of interest here and there. This painting, you guys, uh, I call it the little stunner, the little copper stunner, because honestly, <laughs> It has so much power in such a small canvas and the buyer 
um, is someone who normally likes bigger works, but this one was so irresistible. <laughs> and I don't, I really don't blame them. All done. <laughs> it was a beautiful painting. Now, look at those close ups. The light was not great, it was pretty, pretty late when I finished these, but so shiny and shimmering. Just really pretty little balloon rolls and flowers and oh, my great camera. But look at that, isn't it? The contrast is so pretty. And then here it is dried. It dried almost exactly the same, so. Hey you guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so I can make more art videos just for you. Thanks for watching.